Well guys, this is exciting. I'm sitting here by the shipping company um, with just under $5,000 worth of batteries in the back of my truck. Bought the silicon salt batteries. <laughs> they weigh just under one ton. So I get to head them back home. I'm pretty excited. Excited to have some new batteries. We'll see if I can get them all hooked up and show you some more. Well guys, I just made it back from Portland. I don't know if I mentioned it before in my other clip, but the batteries were shipped down to Portland and to save a little bit on freight, I went and picked them up myself instead of having them freighted out to my place. So now we're gonna open them up and haul them into that shipping container. Get them into our power room, get it all set up. Kind of excited. You wanna watch me open up the pallet? I haven't seen them yet. I'm excited, let's take a look at these. All right guys, I'm gonna open this thing up. My silicon salt, 12 volt, 800 amp hour batteries here. These have come all the way from China, I think. They are supposed to weigh 121 pounds a piece. So there might be a fun haul into the shipping container. See what they look like. Daddy needs a moon. Oh my, right, look at that. Here, Daddy, what about that? Anna, come here. I only have to sell over right here. Green Saver brand, huh? That wasn't exactly what I was expecting, but that's what it is, I guess. They're sealed. I wonder if they're ready to go. Maybe I should go get my tester on one of these to see if they're ready to go or not. I'll be back with the tester. Okay, I've got my multimeter here, and it's showing 2.1 volts. That's what it should show. So it seems like they've come to me clear from China, wherever we got them from, charged and ready. That's exciting. I'll just have to be careful when I put them all together. Cool. Taking a look at the label and I'm seeing siliconebatteries.ca. Maybe these are a Canadian thing. Whatever it is, um, I didn't catch that when I bought them and I am learning about them as I open up the the boxes so these are really cool let's get them inside and maybe I'll talk about these batteries more after the fact well I'll show you where I'm putting them don't mind all of our stuff in this container I don't know what it'll look like. It's dark back here. Okay, so this is our electrical storage room and it's dark. I only have a little light to make it work until I have everything set up. So it's hard to show it off. Here are all the batteries off on the side. Take a step back here, see if I can get the light to shine. Here's my open E panel right next to my Snyder electric inverter. My generator connection's outside. I've got this all open here because the electrical inspector wants to look at it as soon as my batteries are all connected. See what he thinks about the whole project. It's a really slick setup here and maybe I'll show it off a little more when everything's connected. Now I'm, I need to go and test to make sure each one of these cells test well. 
I should also mention that I found one trace of China. So I have a pretty good feeling that China was involved in all of these batteries. So I have nothing against uh, things produced in China. Uh, junk can be produced in any country in my opinion and good things can be produced in any country as well. So I'm willing to give this product a try for what it totes and I'll let you know whether or not it's good, huh? Well guys, here I am. When I started this video I had something else in mind and it's gone a completely different direction. I think it's going to be useful. Uh, let me catch you up to speed. So I uh, got my batteries, got them all plugged into my system here, and uh, tested them. Each of my two volt batteries had 2.9, or read 2.9 volts when I tested, 2.9, 2.1. Got them all hooked up in series. 24 volts is what I needed, got 25.1, that's right. And you know, that tells me it's charged, fully charged, right? So yeah, everything checked out, right? Plug it all in, hook it all up, and inverter doesn't start, right? So I scratch my head, do some testing, whatever. I uh, hook up my tester and the voltage has dropped on the batteries, right? Ooh, that's scary. Nothing's hot, no smoke, but I shut it down as quick as I can, right? Unplug it. Well, making a long story short, contacted the company I bought it from, uh, Backwood Solar. They're really good guys. They started walking me through everything. We scratched our heads together and came up with the fact that, you know, it had to be the inverter. Uh, the batteries were reading fine. Um, everything was hooked up right. Uh, we we isolated the inverter. We even went down to unplugging everything but the batteries directly to the inverter to see if it would turn on. Nothing. Inverter. Dead on arrival. That's what we decided. We contacted Schneider Electric who gave me the... or who uh, owns the inverter that I bought. You know what I mean. They were very kind and they were sending a replacement inverter right away. Well, everything was hunky-dory, right? Uh, until I got a, another email from Black Backwood Solar. Another customer, different inverter, same battery bank, same problems. He said, do me a favor and test it another way. So I pulled out the batteries out of my pickup truck, plugged them in in there, and lo and behold, the inverter fired up. It's the battery bank. What in the world, right? Like, what would cause uh, a 2 volt battery, all connected in series, to become a 24 volt battery? It's supposed to put out 800 watts, or I mean 800 amps, 800 amp hours. Let me use the wrong term. When you plug it in, voltage drops, right? What would cause it to do that under such a light load as just turning on an inverter? So, yeah, right now I'm twiddling my thumbs. Uh, they're scratching their heads to come up with the proper solution. Good chance they'll refund me, have me take the batteries back, and I will tell you this much, though. I've had a great experience with Backwood Solar so far. Um, it seems like problems like this aren't common and the team that I've been working with uh, I've been working with Brian in particular on this one but he's been working with the whole group inside Backwood Solar I'm just he's my point of contact I mean they have been bending over backwards to do all of this for us and they don't even know I'm doing a video about it <laughs> uh, they've been pulling some strings and things have been happening really well with very little headache and not once have they put me down like oh uh, it's all your fault right they've they've never even alluded to that so it's been wonderful anyway let's see if I can get my my electrical system online I want to move into my house sometime right 
Okay, so when the system is up and running, I'm going to have more light in here. So unfortunately, I can't do much. But I need to show you this interesting thing. Uh, they had me hook it all back up, turn it on, and test the voltages in different locations, and I did. And it's really interesting. So when I flip on the switch, um, these two together, that used to show 25 volts, are showing 4.6. They go down to zero and then they go slowly up to 4.6. When I test two next to each other, this one and this one for example, on the same battery, they show two volts. If I do it on the other side, two volts. I guess that may not be easy to see. So two volts and two volts, right? If I go across this way, it shows 4.4 volts. And if I go this way, it's a negative voltage. So um, point three but negative so reverse polarity there we're going to try next connecting them all on one side so we won't go across from one battery to the other we'll we'll try to connect the two like this so I'm going to change that all we'll see what happens isn't that interesting um, get your head scratch in there right I'm, I'm not actually sure what's going on here I'll get it all tried out and tell you what it's like. Sorry again that it's so dark. Well, I have it all switched. There it is. Plugged in, ready to roll. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, man. There it is. Oh, oh. Oh man. Well, this whole time I had it hooked up wrong and I didn't even know any better. Why in the world did one work and the other one not? I guess I didn't understand what was inside that battery. Huh. I better call Backwood Solar and let him know. I don't even know what to say. It's actually kind of frustrating that this has been sitting in here this whole time and it would have worked if I had been smart enough to figure this out sooner. Have you ever had those moments? I just had one of those moments. Just, just brush it off, right? That's all you can do. <laughs> Learning takes time and I took some time. Oh, but I'm glad it works. That is on. Yes, that is good. That is good news. I'm going to call Black Backwood Solar. See what, see what they say. See if they'll rejoice with me, huh? I'm embarrassed that it took this long to figure this out. Let's see what they have to say. Perfect. Sounds good. And I so appreciate you chasing this around and being so patient. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, yeah, I'll talk to you later then. Bye. Well, what a kind guy. He's he's going to keep looking into it. He said that it's not over yet. Even though it fires on, uh, he's going to keep chasing it around. There's another client with the same problem. There's half a chance it's something that, you know, we're getting half power on the battery. It doesn't make sense, but the fix that we just did doesn't make a lot of sense in this scenario. So, isn't that nice? Great service, guys. Um, they're not endorsing me at all, but I'm endorsing them. Backwood Solar's probably worth your time if you're looking into something like this. Anyway, we'll continue this on till the end, huh? Shall we? <laughs> well, everybody, I'm out here in front of my generator and power shed. I guess, power room, power house. I don't know what I'm calling it yet. But uh, we've passed our final electrical inspection. Everything is working and running in the house. Not everything is figured out with the battery bank, but I figured this is a good time to stop and show you what's going on and let you see what things are doing. I tried to tie up this long video and give you some information, huh? Right now, our little generator is running here. Um, 
It's a little bit on the small side, but it can charge up the batteries. Uh, it takes about five hours, five to six hours to charge up the batteries with this little guy. As long as there isn't any loads in the house, it does okay. I've just got it plugged in here to a, a box with a little bit of extra rain protection. It's doing pretty good. Okay, I'm inside the power room now. Now that everything's working, uh, I've got a light. We can see really well in here. Good lighting in here. So I'm going to give you a look at this all put together. Here's my e-panel. Midnight Solar e-panel here, made to work with the Snyder electric inverter. All put together really well. You see here, my batteries are pretty much all the way charged. Uh, it's got a nice little display control here. See everything working just the way it needs to work. Uh, I have here an automatic disconnect. Uh, works pretty good. 250 amp breaker for the DC side. Again, my silicon salt batteries all hooked up just so and they're working so far we haven't finished the conversation about whether it needs a second string of uh, connections yet really it's a cool system this inverter kicks out 240 volts it can convert this 24 volt system into 240 volts so I have two hot legs going to my house pretty sweet. Uh, the interesting thing is it takes my generator that's putting out 120 and converts it to 220 for the house so there's no interruption in power. It's, it's a pretty slick little thing here. I paid a little bit of money for it but it worked fairly well. I, I really like it. Okay so inside the house we have this trimetric meter and it is our battery monitor. It's showing that Batteries are 96% charged now. Um, the inverter is putting 29 volts into these batteries to charge them up uh, and 3.2 amps. So just keeping that charged up just a little bit. Uh, trickle charging the very top to float it. So that's what that looks like. It's really nice to be able to uh, check our battery progress right here in the house. I should also show you over here. So this is the panel, the electrical panel, and I have it wired in uh, pretty much the way a regular panel would be, except it's got a 60 amp breaker. This is the main breaker here. And that inverter, like I was saying, has a 24 or 240 volt output and I have two hot legs in here and this will allow me to have multiple breakers uh, this regular breaker setup so it's pretty sweet uh, 240 here but nothing nothing in the house that actually uses 240 I, I really enjoy it it's working really slick I've been able to power my chop saw uh, the air compressor everything doesn't even blink just pulls it right off so pretty exciting stuff it's so cool to be able to flip the switch and have lights come on right finally well guys thanks for sticking through this really long video I think I'm gonna cut it short here even though we're still waiting to hear the final word on those batteries whether we get a second string of connectors to go on the other side or not do any of you have any experience? Do you know for sure whether or not it needs the second string of connections? That'd be useful to know. But, you know, I'll, I'll give you an update in the future as I find out. I figure, eh, at this point, I'd rather let you guys know what's up and stop making you wait to see it. I'm also aware that this video was a lot about the process and not a lot about the specifics. So if you need a supplementary video, let me know. 
uh, give me some specific questions and maybe I can go into detail uh, according to what you guys want about my electrical system. Just keep that in mind. Okay? Thanks for watching and until next time, thanks for taking this journey with me on Simple Ground.